Hello everybody, peace of the Lord Christ. Uh, welcome to part 4 of Penn and Teller's The Bible is BS. And now they're moving on to Jesus Christ. He's this guy, calls himself the Messiah, says he's the son of God, says he's going to change the world. Ah, uh, he did change the world. The whole face of the world is different because of him. Says he can cure the sick, but he only cures the ones he happens to bump into. No, not true. I can give you, you can type in Christian miracles and see millions of stories of healing from Jesus Christ. In fact, right here, there's a related video called 10 Questions That Every Intelligent Christian Must Answer. And it's an atheist on here saying that four out of five or it's three out of four, I can't remember which one, doctors believe in miracles. Why? Because in their own practice, they have seen miracles. And they can't explain how they happen. So no, he doesn't just heal people who were around him, but he did. And how are you going to tell God to heal people that are just around you when he's everywhere? You forgot he's bigger than his creation. He's bigger than the universe. <laughs> Let us continue on. Jesus Christ! It turns out this ancient Jewish historian named Josephus wrote about Jesus and his followers. Later, a uh, first century Roman historian also wrote about him, including the fact that he was crucified. So at least there are multiple sources for a story about a flight. There's more than those two. There's Tacitus, Dionysus, um, the um, bishop of... Uh, I forget where. Bishop of... Uh, I can't remember it. It's off the top of my head. Anyways, yeah, there's about uh, 10 other sources within the 1st and 2nd century writing about Jesus. And also the early Christian movement. And then, of course, you have the 27 separate New Testament accounts, 4 biographies, and letters about the church, and uh, the book of Acts. And you need to treat that as not one isolated book, but how a historian would look at it as each individual separate accounts. ...blood guy named Jesus, but written what, decades or centuries later? And that proves what? We know a guy named Jesus! The uh, creed of 1 Corinthians is written to within 28 months after the cross. The church, it's not like it was just founded and written later. This shows very, very poor understanding of history. He plays world championship poker. Jesus was not the only Messiah at the time. There were lots of Messiahs. In fact, there was another fellow named Apollonius of Tyana, who in the first century was claimed by his followers that he healed the sick, he raised the dead. He was able to walk through walls and buildings. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to the next part. Stay tuned for the coming video.